What's going on YouTube, Giasno right here, so in today's video we're talking about a new version of Uncover that has been released for iOS 13.3 all the way down to 13.0 for A12 and A13 devices, which fixes some of the important bugs that were introduced in the first version that supports iOS 13. So just a few hours ago, Pound to Own posted a quote, Uncover version 4.0.1 is now out, fixes App Store, push notifications and improves reliability on A12 and A13 devices on iOS 13.0 to 13.3. Get it? at uncover.dev. Now for those of you who are unaware, with the Uncover 4.0, which was the first one to support the iOS 13.3 and lower, of course on the A12 and A13 for the moment, there have been a couple of issues. For example, you couldn't download App Store applications after jailbreaking with Uncover and that was a bug and some people complained about push notifications, especially from iMessage, that were not showing anymore. And there were other bugs as well and apparently all of them have been fixed in version 4.0.1, so it's definitely important to go ahead and download it and of course jailbreak with it so that you can fix the bugs. Now the biggest one here is of course the App Store bug. Some people actually found a solution, they installed AppSync Unified in order to get applications from the App Store. If you did that, please uninstall AppSync Unified unless you're using it for other things and jailbreak again with 4.0.1 which has the bug fixed because the AppSync Unified method is not an official method to get apps and of course that was a temporary fix. This version of Uncover should let you download applications from the App Store without having to rely on AppSync Unified. Now of course you can get the IPA in here if you want to sign it with your computer or if you're using the Alt Store and I made a video about this a couple of days ago on how to set it up and of course I made a video yesterday on how to get Uncover using Alt Store then you can simply go ahead on the uncover.dev on your phone if you have Alt Store installed and press the download button and of course you will be able to jailbreak again. Now please remove the other one that you have first but this is the best method if you have a Windows computer. If you have a Mac it requires a pretty new macOS version, I think Catalina or something, so you will not be able to use this on an older Mac, for example with High Sierra or Sierra or El Capitan. However, in that case, you can install the latest version of Xcode that is supported for your macOS, you can find it on the App Store, and then of course iOS App Signer still works for macOS, and you're able to sign any IPA you want using iOS App Signer, even if you don't have a newer Mac or a newer macOS version. So you're still able to sign your latest and cover version 4.0.1, even if you have a Mac and Alt Store is not compatible with your computer. Please do keep in mind that iOS 13.3.1 is not supported and for the moment I'm hearing reports that iOS 13.0 all the way up to 13.2.3 jailbreak but they freeze when the jailbreak completes. So basically they're not supported for the moment. Pound to own said in here that he thinks he knows the cause of this issue and he will publish a fix ASAP. But for the moment iOS 13.3 remains the only version that actually works fine with this jailbreak. So if you have 13.2.3 and lower and your jailbreak just freezes after the uh, jailbreak completes, then you need to wait for an update. So yeah, that's basically it. If you need any jailbreak help, head over to our Jailbreak Central forum. I will be here and I will try to reply to as many questions as possible. You can also check out the jailbreak news in here. The forum is jailbreak.fc365.info. So go ahead and update your uncovered to version 4.0.1. This should fix the App Store issue and the push notifications and also comes with reliability improvements. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geo Snow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, and peace out.